How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, we cannot lose sight. We've been dealing with a lot of emotions the last few weeks. And we cannot lose sight about reparations. So, um, just to let y'all know, I got a bonus video that y'all going to truly um, enjoy. And um, I found this article that came out October 7th. It's very lengthy, so I'm not going to read it, but I'll read some of it. Why the story of Americans' last slave ship could offer a case of reparations. So they're talking about here, Alabama steamship owner Timothy Mayer financed the last slave vessel that brought African captives to the United States, and he came out of Civil War a wealthy man. His descendants with land worth million, millions are still part of mobile society upper crush. The people who may are enslaved, however, emerge from the war with freedom, but little else. Census forms that document Merrill's post-war riches list them as laborers, housewives, and farmers with nothing of value. Many of their descendants today hold working class jobs. Now, um, like I said, if you see here, and here's this evil motherfucker. Look at him, evil. Um, pretty lengthy article that I will pin here for the royal family to um, watch. Now, I know some have seen this video, but some may have not. So it's a video that I'm going to share with the royal family. It's a four-minute video, and it talks about what this evil motherfucker did. So I came to this spot because I had been told this is where the wreck lay uh, by an old man who grew up with his riding past here with his father saying that's the wreck of the Clotilda. And seeing this sort of dinosaur backbone ridge coming up out of the water and with all these giant iron spikes um, and then charred wood. And I just had this overwhelming feeling of that's the final resting place of the Clotilda. This is where that journey came to this desperate end with the slavers, Timothy Mayer and, and Captain William Foster, realizing that, you know, they might well end up in jail uh, for this crime they've committed. And what a crime, uh, bringing 110 people across the ocean to enslave them for no reason other than a bet. You know, these were already rich men. They just did this to prove they could do it. Those guys are just trying to save their own skins as they light this thing on fire. You know, the archaeologists are speculating there may still be manacles um, and other evidence of the slaving down here in the hole, things that wouldn't burn, you know, iron. Do you have anything like the actual stern post back there? It's probably a pretty good ways back. Wow, this is something. You can see the chain plates that were on the foremast, and that means the foremast set approximately your stem is still intact and also with a, a large chain plate attached in it that carried up to the bow sprit. your planking came along these frames and laid into that inner kill uh, this appears to be a part of the bow that has collapsed and fallen in and it actually has a grown knee in it and that connected these two timbers together uh, this could have been part of the uh, main framing for the deck just in front of the mast. We have a man-made plank. It could be part of a deck beam that burned. It could be part of the uh, decking itself. And then after it burned somewhat, it fell in the water and extinguished. And then again, you can see the charred remains of it. This is in the era of the uh, 1850s to 1880s. And with the evidence in the stem, we can figure out where we're at in terms of hull preservation and probably get an idea of the rig based on those chain plates. And some say it's likely to be a schooner, so that's good too. We 
Yeah, I think you can definitely say maybe and maybe even a little bit stronger because the location's right, the construction seems to be right for the, t the proper time period. Um, it appears to be burnt, um, so it's, I would say, very compelling, sure. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, there's uh, n nothing here that, that's saying the wrong time period that from w the things that I know about. I mean, four meters, 20 centimeters. That's pretty close to right on. Yeah, it is. Well, if it, if it turns out to be the last labor, it's going to be a very powerful site in, for many reasons, you know. I mean, the, the, the structure of the vessel itself is not as important it as its history and the impact it's going to have on many, many people. Just to see, even in this dilapidated state, it's just uh, remarkable. It really is. I'm, I'm touched. And not to mention the, the human cargo, it was all part of a bet. So that's... Uh, I'm touched. All right. Deep story, my royal family, truly deep. Um, what I got out of it, my royal family, um, was actually um, the true nature of the enemy, which we talk about often. And you can see, or feel actually, that the evil that comes off of this so-called man's portrait, he was filthy ass rich, and they had made it against the law, do, you know, doing w how they made money, but on a bet. And then they bet basically are betting that, yeah, we, we have the, the right to do what the hell we want to do. Yeah, we can go get some more of them. You know, very defiant type of so-called people. And um, they're looking into this deeper now because there are many descendants um, in this, this particular region in uh, Mobile, Alabama. And they're saying it's a case for reparations. So I would strongly encourage the royal family to read this article. Now, I'm going to get into the bonus video. Now, my royal family, I often talk about on this channel that it is our duty and our responsibility to teach our royals core ass truth about the enemy, also the enemy supporters. Very important, very important. And our royals are pretty sharp. And the video I'm gonna show y'all is our royals expressing ha um, through the way they like to express from learning what they have learned about reparations. So let's Listen to this video. Let me open this up. JCPS students took a trip to Alabama learning all about the civil rights movement. The knowledge that they brought back with them now playing on YouTube in a new R&B video. Check it out. They say history is taught in a classroom, but as Nyree Clayton Taylor explains, there simply are things that cannot be taught with just a book. I mean, when we were sitting on the steps of the 16th Street Baptist Church where the four girls were bombed, I mean, that was just an awe-inspiring moment. And so it, it was... It was just more than I could have given them in the classroom. She's referring to a trip her students took to Alabama to not only learn history, but to experience it, live it, and breathe it. 
The whole thing started with a conversation in the car. On the radio, they started talking about reparations. Then my friend Javante Fry said, what is reparations? And that's when our teacher, Miss Clay Taylor, told us what reparations is. And that's when we all had the idea to write a song about reparations. They have a good teacher. Whenever they ask questions, that's what I need to teach. And she did. And her students came out with a powerful message. You can't stop me. And a new video called Reparations. In a collaborative effort, the students not only wrote the lyrics, shot the video, but edited the whole music video before uploading it to YouTube. What we rapping about is reparations, so we trying to get it, we trying to get our check, we come up our check. When we come to Washington in this campaign, we're coming to get our check. Reparations, my said we coming for a check. Reparations, say it loud. What's your mic check? Cream, cash rules, everything around me. Dream. My legacy, you can't stop me. Coming for a 40 acres, and chop 40 in a paper. Kick in the door. Coming for a 40 acres and more. Our six point four trillion. This said no, we fought the civil war. We came from the poor. talking about our royal said they coming for they check that's what i'm talking about i keep telling you my royal family i still feel victorious we are going in the right direction let the royals teach them and let them express themselves the way they want to express themselves i was feeling that i was truly feeling that See, we have a duty and responsibility to these royals because they are precious gifts from Father Yah. And when we keep it core and teach them that truth and drop that truth serum on them, they said, step back. I'm taking over. They said they coming for they check. Ain't that juicy, my royal family? Real juicy. Ooh, that was one of the best bonus videos I have put up by far. So my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shake.